don't like having to pay to get into the club. Something about paying to get in the club feels homophobic to me. Y'all, I'm actually getting annoyed at this point. So I went to drop my car off to get it serviced and I came to the Volkswagen in downtown LA so I can like, you know, walk around the city, you know, just explore downtown and stuff. But it's literally been two hours and I still have not heard nothing back. All I needed was an oil change. And it's like, okay, cute idea because at least you know i'm exploring the areas and stuff but it's like damn like i'm ready to go home and i don't have no outfit on and it's hot <laughs> like come on miss mamas i'm tired of walking i don't already walk my little three miles like i usually do so now nah, this is just excess <laughs> Like, at least I feel like I should at least have heard something. Because I feel like if they was going to recommend something, they would have at least reached out so that I would know, you know what I'm saying, what I can say no to. Because I'm only getting an oil change right now. <laughs> and I ain't even heard that yet. I'm going to try to fuck it out. But, like, I don't even really know what else to do. Like, I thought about, okay. Maybe get some food or something. But... I, you know, I don't feel like being in nobody restaurant looking like this. I don't know what to do. I mean, I guess on the brighter side, I do think for sure now, I want to move to downtown LA. I just like the vibe. Like, it smells like pee and it's dirty down here, but I don't know. I feel like I'm in a city, like big city dreaming. Soon as I find a little spot to get extra comfortable, they calling me telling me the car is ready. So, 30 minute walk back. And it's weird because I called them and the lady was just like, oh, well, your service advisor isn't at his desk right now. So I'm honestly not sure how long it'll be. So I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. I'm not trying to give her too much attitude because there's nothing she can do about it. Nah, he just called back as soon as I sit down. All right, girl, let me go get my car. <laughs> let me go get my car. And the crazy part is, it's a 30 minute walk back. Oh my God, look at this building. Okay, I'm coming downtown. I want one, I'm gonna get one. Yeah, I'm gonna get one. home i was kind of surprised i mean i'm happy about but they didn't recommend that i needed anything else they just did my oil change and they actually changed one of my light bulbs out for free so i was like okay girl and i had found a coupon so the total would have been like 150 but it ended up being like 90 for my synthetic synthetic oil change so i was excited about that it it kind of took me that long but overall i was like okay cool they honored the coupon. They didn't try to upsell me on nothing else, which I, you know, I get my car service re pretty regularly. So I didn't think nothing was gonna be wrong, but you don't ever know. But all I could do was an oil change. That's all I could have did for it anyway. Um, so I'm trying to do the sunscreen thing. Y'all know sunscreen has been my downfall. So I was in CVS literally for an hour <laughs> going back and forth. So I decided to try this one the SPF face sun bomb mineral it's a Bosch Rex no, the mineral face lotion with zinc oxide and titanium dioxide water resistant fragrance free for sensitive skin hyperallergenic vegan vegan <laughs> yeah plant based so we gonna see what she's talking about I'm hoping I'm hoping this can do something for me because I'm at the point now where I'm outside every day and I actually think, yeah, I, it's, it's, I need sunscreen. I'm outside every single day. Um, I kind of don't like the fact that this, okay, there you go, it's sealed. Um, 
yeah so we'll see i'm gonna try her in the morning probably because i'm already sweated out and i'm done for the day i'm just gonna shower um and chill so yeah good morning good morning good morning okay because i'm really gonna get in the studio okay okay so y'all saw me yesterday i got this sunscreen now <clears throat> i ain't even think about it yesterday but i could have just did a patch test like i did the last time so i'm about to actually just do a little patch test to see what she even gives before i put it on my face because sensitive skin problems i don't want to deal with it and i just want to see you know i'm gonna just put this much on him let me put on the, the chocolate, it's chocolatey part. Oh, my elbow. <laughs> put it on the chocolate, chocolate part. Okay. Oh. Okay. I feel like the TikTok would say this was easily spreadable. Okay. Wait. Hold on, Miss Mamas. It's not really living a white cast. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit and I guess I'll let y'all know if I do like a breakout or anything before I put this shit on my face because I ain't got time. But no white cast, which I'm happy about. Okay, so I'm gonna let it sit and see if it worked me out because that shit was, that was so like strange. The other, I don't know if it's in this vlog or not, but I did a patch test for another brand of sunscreen and it literally left me with little bumps on my arm. But this didn't leave no white cast at all. So I'm actually kind of excited so far. Let's see. I don't want to do too much though. <laughs> Y'all want to know what's crazy? I literally have not been out since before my birthday. And my birthday was July 29th. <laughs> like, I've literally been in the house to the point where it's such a habit for me now. I almost wanted to cancel on my friend tonight because I was like, honestly, I haven't been in the clubs because, first of all, monkeypox. I mean, don't nobody want that. And second of all, I felt like it got to the point where I felt like I was going out so much that it, it, it didn't serve me anymore, to be honest. I was going out like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Thir well, actually, no, more like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, maybe Sunday for pretty, I would say years at this point, uh, ever since I've been in L.A. Well, not that first year because L.A. was locked down, but ever since L.A. opened up, kind of, I've been out like that. And it's like, it got old to me. I think ultimately it just got old. And now I'm seeing her like, dang, I'm not dreading it. But I'm like, because mm. the last time I went out, I think I was telling y'all in a vlog at this point that it just wasn't a fun time. I felt like everybody was trying me. My friend got on my nerves. Like, it just wasn't it. Like, I mean, I don't know. So I'm just fingers crossed that this is going to be a good vibe. I'm going to downtown LA. And <laughs> fingers crossed I have fun. I'm almost like... I'm looking forward to it, but I'm not at the same token because I just feel like it's going to be the same old, same old. But we'll see. I don't know. I hope I hope I'm. it's not the fact that I'm just at the age where I'm over going out to the clubs and bars. I don't know. <laughs> and it's so crazy. I would have never thought that I would be like, I don't know, because I'm such a, I love to be on the go usually. But this last month, I've been in the house. And I think it's just because I've started to realize that when you're in the house, you self-regulate, for the most part, your own experience. Like, I don't have to worry about any outside pressures. I don't have to worry about nobody else getting on my nerves when I'm in my house. I don't have to worry about feeling crowded. I don't have to worry about, I mean, I do sometimes have to worry about being hot because y'all know I ain't got such AC. But I do got my little, you know, portable unit, which it cools down pretty well. Um, I don't know. And like the energy exchange, I oh, don't know. <sighs> I'm gonna go though. And then I'm going to brunch tomorrow, which I'm excited to go to brunch. Now that I can do. 
But it's just this whole club thing. And I'm meeting up with one of my friends that like, I haven't seen this friend. This was the last friend I had went out with that had got on my nerves. <laughs> so, fingers crossed for a good fun time. And I, I almost was just like, should I have a conversation with my friend about it? Like, is this one of those things or is it something that I should just let it be? Because the situation fundamentally is about I think it's just their personality and that's not something that that person can change. That was annoying me, especially when, you know, I had just been going through a lot, just been stressed, stressed, stressed. And I think that night, that, that personality and my own stress, it was just too big of a clash. Like we didn't even go back and forth. I just shut up. Like I ain't having anything to say to them like for the rest of the night. And we kind of just haven't really talked a lot since then. But this is more like a going out friend anyway. So it's not really that deep, I guess. But I'm just one of those people that like anytime something bothers me, it's hard for me not to talk about it. Because I, and I think it's like the Aries moon in me, I be burning up. Like it just be like, no, no, no. I get mad all over again if I don't at least try to express myself. But I think for this situation, um... It's the thing, you know, you got to pick and choose your battles. And for this, I don't think fundamentally there's nothing that a person can change about the actions. So I just have to pick and choose when I'm available. You know what I'm saying? I just have to limit my access, um, which sucks because I didn't really want to go to this extreme with it. But no, I, it don't suck. It's not that extreme. It is what it is. I just need to safeguard my feelings. And I want to keep them as a friend. Like, it's they're fun. Like, we have a lot of fun together. But I just know sometimes, like, we need some space. <laughs> I need some space more so. Not even we. I guess I just need some space because I get hypersensitive and I get annoyed and I get, like, the whole only child thing and I'm a Leo, so attention and, yeah. So let's see. I'm about to go out, though. I'm going to get ready. I'm about to pregame. And that's the other thing. I really haven't been drinking like that either because I ain't been going out. So I'm, I'm kind of like, even with the alcohol, I'm kind of like, I ain't even been drinking champagne like that. Well, that's because I ain't bought none. I'm trying to think, should I do white car or what? Because I'm one of them. And I don't even think it was the LA agenda. I just think white claws are good. They just, I don't know, they're good. I think I'm going to just do liquor. Mm. Liquor, cheers, take a shot with me. Oh. Okay. See, and that's the crazy part. Okay, I'm lying. I'm ready to party. I'm ready to party. I should have cut my hair. And that be the thing with my head because I started to get those razor bumps. So I haven't been trying to shave my head as much because I ain't got time for the razor bumps on my scalp because of that shaver I had bought from Amazon. So, I don't know. I might wear a hat. I might. You can see I need to cut my hair. I'm probably, I'm going to wear a hat for brunch tomorrow. Tonight, I don't really care. It's going to be darker now. It is what it is. It is what it is. Now, one thing about me, y'all know, I love a, a button down. And what I always do, I have it buttoned almost all the way down. And then I just have my whole chest out. And I want to get a new, like either a new, y'all can't see, can you? I either want to get a new chest piece. Ooh, not my nipple. <laughs> Nip slip. Okay, I either want to get a new chest piece, completely like a cover up, or just get this touched up and add like some more birds and like maybe like a cage right here. And like maybe like, I want some, like a cage and some flowers. But the crazy part is, tattoos hurt and I'm reminded every single time that tattoos hurt and that's why I don't be getting no tattoos because they hurt like one of my friends we was talking about this other day talking about 
They love the pain. They addicted to it. Who? Every time I get a tattoo, I'm reminded. I think this was the last tattoo I ever got. This one. Was this the last? Yeah, this was the last tattoo I got, technically. And <laughs> it hurt. And I ain't got none of that sense. And I think this was probably like 2018, 2019. Technically speaking, my friend, um, one of my friends had like a tattoo kit and I let them do like something simple on my uh, finger right here. And I, it was just like three lines, but as you can see, it came right on off. And that hurt. It's a needle going in your skin. Do, 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 do. I don't know. I don't know. It just ain't for me. It ain't for me. But I want some more because I do want to do something with this. And I want 1994 on my um. Like I want. Okay, so I also want something right here. Like. Maybe 1994 or something right here. I don't know. I don't know. I know something you do. I know something you would not have. Cheers. Whew. I got some rum. And it's rhyming, but it's okay. Though. Not too bad. But all right. I guess I'm about to. I'll see y'all at the club. <laughs> I made it. Okay, y'all. It's not giving. I know y'all can't hear me, but I'm here. I'm waiting for my friend to get here. They just found parking. Um, but it's really giving. If one more person bumps into me. I'm a sorry fire. It's giving one more and it's an issue. That's what it's giving right now. But overall, I'm okay. Just say excuse me. You know what I'm saying? It's like common courtesy. Okay. Okay, y'all. So ultimately, I had a good time. I'm glad I went out. I got my um. I be getting this sausage croissant. This croissant, good. And I'm gonna cook me some fries. I got my oil going. But it was so much fun. I really like when like you bump into other friends when you're out. So we ended up going to, so we went to precinct and then precinct was just like, it was just too packed. So then we walked over to red line and I have a friend who lives like near red line. So I texted her, I was like, hey, I I know it's late, but I'm at red line right by your house. And she actually pulled up, like she came over. So it was so much fun. Let me get some water. I need some water. So that was fun. <sighs> yeah. But that's it. And I just don't like, I don't like having to pay to get into the club. Something about paying to get in the club feels homophobic to me. It was a $9 cover at Precinct, which Precinct usually have a cover, so it ain't nothing new. But it's just, Precinct is my favorite demographic wise, but I hate the fact that you have to pay to get in. It never gave pay to get in. It never gave that. It never gave that. But all right, y'all. I'm about to eat and I'll see y'all later.